Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, the Carolina girls are getting back together for another collab. Today we are doing a goodbye summer look. I am very excited for this because I had so many different ideas and I think I'm gonna combine two ideas that I had because I just can't decide which one I ultimately want to do. One of them, I don't know why, I just immediately thought of summer, maybe because of the sun, but I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun idea to do. And then I have a sunset also envisioned as well. I will leave my collabs playlist to watch previous collabs. And if you're visiting from any of the channels, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. I've already created one fall look, so I thought it was really cute when Riri reached out to do a goodbye summer look because I am over summer and I guess I didn't think about doing like a goodbye, farewell, au revoir look to summer. So I think that's just a lot of fun. And the first palette that came to mind was the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I honestly have only used this one time. And ironically, I used this palette with another creator in this channel makeup by Jessica Vargas. We did a palette bingo using this palette and I haven't used it since so I definitely was itching into getting back into this palette. I just think that this is a very summery palette. It definitely gives off those sunset vibes for sure but the other side that I really wanted to focus on was maybe creating the sun symbol from Tangled. I don't know why that was like my first thought of what summer was but it was. So I think that might be fun to draw on one of my eyes and then doing like a sunset look on the other eye. We'll see how it works out. Okay so not off to a great start. The look was a bust. The sun was not very sunny. I have a second idea to stay on the Disney theme from the summer song that he sings in Frozen. But now I came up with another one and I'm hoping that this one will work out because I think this one actually truly sticks to that whole summer theme I'm going for.
So if you are unfamiliar with the character that is drawn right here, it is Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. And I'm gonna try to draw Phineas on this eye. Phineas and Ferb is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I love just the theme song about there's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes to ruin it. I'm not sure why this wasn't my initial idea. Literally they do something every single day for summer. School ruins it by resuming again. So I think Phineas and Ferb is quite appropriate for this type of video. And if you have watch Phineas and Ferb. All the episodes are on Disney Plus and they also just released like a new special as well which I think they should have just rebooted the show in its entirety. The creator started up a new show called Milo's Murphy's Law. Wasn't nearly as good as Phineas and Ferb. This is a quality kid show for sure. Phineas is gonna be like a little tougher. He's essentially like a Dorito but with his mouth open. So where Phineas's mouth ended up being, it's in a very inconvenient creasing space, so his teeth are creasing. I'm gonna add some brown blush and highlight from my Tarte Tartise Pro Glow palette. Because hopefully we have a nice bronzed tan look post-summer. I don't. 
didn't even go to the beach once this summer. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Lay Over for the lips. Overall, I think this look is very adorable. I just don't like how Phineas's mouth ended up because it is in a creasing area, but it's okay. It just reminds me of one of my favorite shows of all time. I was obsessed with Perry the Platypus. Like, I have Perry the Platypus everything, it seems like. So I thought this was just a really cute look to do since summer is ending and we're going into fall, which I am personally looking forward to. I love the fall. Everything just about fall is awesome. The weather, activities, Halloween, Thanksgiving, basic clothing of hoodies, leggings, riding boots, pumpkin coal brews, all the above. I am here for it. I would love to know, are you guys excited that summer is ending and we're going into fall? What summer ending looks would you have created? Would you have gone for inspired looks like I did or would you done a summer sunset, which I actually wanted to do at first with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, but even though I didn't go with that original idea, I'm still very pleased how this turned out. Don't forget to check out everyone else's look. There'll be a playlist linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video. Video.